My name is Katie and I'm a junior at Occidental College. As we're all getting ready to go back to school, now is the perfect time to figure out your plan, think about your mindset, and decide how you want to spend your time this school year. Every school year comes with new challenges, but that means it also comes with new opportunities. And as long as you're up for the challenge, you can do anything you put your mind to. Before we set any goals or make any plans, I want you to grab a pen or pencil and a sheet of paper. Now you can use a blank sheet of paper, a lined piece of paper, or the worksheet that I linked down below. Now what we're going to do is you are going to write down five things that make you happy. These are going to be different for all of us. If you have trouble thinking of five, don't worry. I'm going to write down 20 and hopefully that'll give you plenty of time to think of five. If not, I will share mine at the end with you all. So hopefully that'll spark a few more ideas for you. If you come up with more than five, great, but just pick the five things that you really wanna prioritize that make you the most happy. Let's get to it. Okay everyone, great work. I'm sure you all were able to come up with wonderful ideas of what makes you happy. I'm going to go over my top five, but if you're trying to think of a few more ideas, go ahead and pause this video to read through them all if you need to. Now, the five things that make me the most happy are spending time outside, playing tennis, learning about topics I'm passionate about, talking with family and friends, taking time alone to reflect, relax, and focus my thoughts, whether that's through journaling, meditation, or having a dance party in my room by myself. Now, we all have a list of some of the things that make us happy. Next, I want you to write down the activity that you enjoyed the most at school. That could be robotics club, it could be solving math problems, it could be reading a new book, discussing a topic with friends. It could be musical theater. It could be sports. Just write down the thing that you care the most about and the activity that you enjoy the most at school. If you don't have just one favorite activity, that's okay. In fact, that's awesome. It's good to have multiple interests and multiple things that you're passionate about. And if you're not sure what your favorite activity is, that's okay too. We have so much time to figure that out. As long as you keep trying new things and putting your all into the activities you're doing, you'll definitely be able to find something that you love. So now that you've written down things that make you happy and the activities that you're most interested in at school, now we can finally start to make our plan for the school year. So close your eyes. Yes, actually, now. Imagine yourself 10 years from now. Picture yourself spending time on all those things that make you happy. Learning more about the activity that you most love doing. Working in a job that allows you to get more experience related to what you want to do. You're thriving. You're learning. You're putting in your best effort. Now, how do we get there? You start by making that your reality now. No, I'm not kidding. You can make it happen. Let's walk through how. You can go ahead and open your eyes if you know. First, think about why it might be important for you to try your best this coming school year. That might be you trying to figure out what you're passionate about. And by putting your best effort into all of your classes, that's when you're most likely to discover what you care about. Maybe you're going to learn something new that makes you excited and you get to learn more about a topic that you're so passionate about. Maybe you'll discover that you don't like something and that's okay too, but putting your full effort in will allow you to get a sense of whether or not you actually like that topic. 
maybe you just enjoy the process of learning, no matter what it is. But it's important for you to find your why. Trying your best now, being determined and dedicated to learning, will help you succeed in any future job or future schooling that you may pursue. But I want you to write down your goal for this school year. For example, you could write, I am dedicated to learning as much as I can in school because it's helping me pursue my best life. Or, I love learning and I'm continuing to learn more in order to achieve my goals. Or you could write something entirely different. Now I want you to go ahead and put up this worksheet in a place where you'll be able to see it every single day. And next to it, I want you to put up another sheet. You can either draw it yourself or you can use the worksheet I've linked down below. Either way, it's great to be able to track your goals and see if you're actually doing the things that make you happy, if you're trying your best at school, and if you're staying aligned with the things that you're interested in. If your goals change or if you find something new that makes you super happy, you don't need to try and fit your life to fit what you've written down. You need to change the worksheet. So just print a new one, write down a new set of goals, and adjust. Our dream jobs may change, but as long as we keep reflecting on what makes us happy and what we're interested in and pursuing those things to the best of our abilities, then we'll be able to do anything we put our minds to. And that goal that we set in our heads a little bit ago of where we'll be 10 years from now, doing the things that make us happy, learning about things that we care about, and working hard in fields we're interested in, we can do all of that right now. Thanks everyone for doing this with me today. I hope you're all able to set yourselves up for a successful school year. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions that you have or any other video ideas that you'd like to see. Have an amazing day. You are all brilliant.